My name is Joel Elmquist. Um, I'm a professor at University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center in Dallas. I'm in the Department of Internal Medicine and Pharmacology, and I'm the director of the Division of Hypothalamic Research here at UT Southwestern. Today I'd like to tell you about, um, briefly, about some of the work we've recently done that's published in this issue of Neuron. I will do this with my colleagues, first author John Wu Song and co-senior author Kevin Williams. Um, basically what we're doing in this study is looking at cellular mechanisms regulating the activity of POMC neurons. POMC or probial melanocortin neurons are established by the field as critical regulators of food intake, body weight, body weight and glucose homeostasis. Today we will describe results looking at the role of the neurotransmitter serotonin in regulating the activity of the POMC neurons. The reason we're interested in serotonin is that it's, it's clear that serotonin um, regulates energy balance and in addition and importantly drugs such as fenfluramine uh, are thought to mediate their effects by affecting the release of serotonin um, and inhibiting reuptake of serotonin. Fenfluramine was a drug that was widely used to treat human obesity um, and was very effective to treat, treat obesity. Unfortunately it needed to be removed from the market due to cardiac side effects. Thus, one of the goals of our work is to understand the basic cellular mechanisms through which serotonin may exert its effects such that we could develop rational strategies to prevent obesity without the uh, associated side effects. Now, my colleague and co-senior author Kevin Williams will introduce this, this concept of POMC neuronal complexity. As Joel had highlighted, we're interested in studying uh, the acute effects of neuromodulators, including leptin, insulin, and serotonin on arcuate POMC neurons. Similar to serotonin, the adipose-derived peptide leptin exerts its effects at least in part by activating POMC neurons. However, it's unclear whether leptin and, in, uh, leptin and serotonin share a similar signaling cascade in order to activate POMC neurons. Previous work has highlighted a role of melanocortin signaling in uh, glucose and energy balance. Uh, prior work has also suggested that 2C receptors, specifically in POMC neurons, mediate serotonin's anorexigenic effects. Uh, thus, this data may uh, describe a cellular correlate to the anorexigenic effects of serotonin uh, mediated in the brain. Up next, my colleague uh, Zhang Wun Son will discuss uh, the results of this study. We performed patch clamp recordings from the GFP labeled POMC neurons to identify the ion channel and cellular mechanisms that are responsible for POMC neuron activation by serotonin 2C receptors. POMC neuron membrane potential was depolarized by the serotonin 2C receptor agonists. We found an activation of a inert conductance with a reversal potential of around minus 30 millivolts, suggesting the involvement of a non-selective cation or TRIP-C channels in the 2C effects. We confirmed these findings by the pharmacological blockers of trip channels and ion substitution experiments. And we also found the involvement of PLC in 2C effects. So serotonin 2C receptors activate PLC to open trip channels and depolarize the membrane potential of POMC neurons. Interestingly, POMC neurons that were activated by 2C receptors were found to be a distinct population uh, from those activated by leptin receptors. In summary, our data suggests that 2C and leptin receptors are expressed by distinct subpopulations of POMC neurons and that serotonin and leptin activate POMC neurons via the 3 channels. So in summary, we think the work um, published in this issue of Neuron is, is, is interesting and potentially provides a cellular mechanism through which uh, serotonin activates pump scene neuronal activity. As you can see in, the, uh, in this, this figure here, the obesity rates in the United States continue to rise. It is our hope that this work will lead to uh, our colleagues in the pharmaceutical industry to develop more effective drugs to combat human obesity and its associated complications such as type 2 diabetes.